This year's Worthy Peace Forum brings together 50 students from 28 different countries and five different schools throughout Southeast Asia to address the issues of peace and conflict. And students learn from one another as well as from those who have experienced conflict in the past and do so through a variety of activities, speakers that are brought in, as well as multiple breakout sessions and a MUN forum on one of the afternoons. Suddenly I glimpsed a blue light flash through a window. It's a bomb, I thought. In my mind I saw the faces of my mother, father, grandmother and three little brothers. They floated there so quickly for about an instant. I was born in Iraq. I saw things that I shouldn't see in my life, that no one should see in their lives. I lost so many friends, family members. I was at the age of losing hope in my life. But after the survival talk, and after the whole week, it kind of really changed my perspective about the whole world, about peace, about life. And uh, it's really, despite all the hatred all, all around the world, maybe we can really change it, and maybe peace, we can really achieve peace in life, one day. Option one, option two. Option one, option two. If other country views about a newspaper and don't know more about CIA, what will it decide about security system? It was, <laughs> it, was a, it was a simulation of um, the participants being part of the CIA and there was a crisis. So we basically just led the participants through different stages of this, this crisis that eventually escalated to something huge. And what the participants was, were meant to do is to choose the best option in every state and think critically that will hopefully lead to the best outcome that did not, but that's just because the activity was, was going in that way. But yeah, it was pretty good. I think that given the fact that this MUN conference we discussed the topic of nuclear non-proliferation it held so much more of a weight to it because we were located in Hiroshima and um, unfortunately at the end of the conference no resolution was passed but that kind of just emulates what happens in the real UN and how personal interest will always stand in the way of the collective goal towards peace. I, Shoot don't this at the finest, like I cannot, like... Of course exotic. Of course exotic. love is to die for your friends and we see a lot of people in these disasters they risk their life just to drag their friends to a safer zone and ironically we didn't find this love in our daily life we find this love in destructions we find this love in chaos but facts facts to lower and facts to call higher beings that we as human beings have such a kind nature within us i hope we can maintain this because this world is maintained by love, not by chaos, not by wars. So just, we take this as an example, and we learn from this girl who wish for peace, and just carry on this spirit, like till the next generation, and till forever. Thank you.